Welcome back. We're going to play some more 10 minute games on this website. Um, I think the way it's supposed to proceed is that I click game start and then after I click game start I get a selection of time control and so we'll pick a 10 minute game. Normally I try to preload that so we don't have to wait on the loading screen. Sorry for my confusion. Good luck. All right, here we are playing as Gota. Um, I'm going to defend this and offer bishop exchange this way. So I think I saw Telmarch play this way, and it intrigues me. Okay. I do not understand where this is going next. So if I push, my king is too exposed. Certainly something bad happens, right? If I exchange... I haven't pushed this, but... No? Now this... I don't understand. Alright. I want to understand this better. Primitive Climbing Silver. Okay, this is the name of my opponent's play. And I can just drop my rook back here. Right. So this prevents my bishop from escaping here. Um, So my rook is active, my bishop is active. I'm building Central House Castle, apparently. Okay. If I drop a pawn, if we exchange, they could bring their gold up, but then I can take the bishop and drop it here. No, there's no reason for me to be so hasty, is there? Um... Hmm, why would I be hasty here? If I drop a pawn, they drop this back. If I take here, I'm being greedy. Yeah, I'm too curious. I need to know. So we take here. If the bishop attacks my rook, if I move across here, they can threaten the head of my knight. I don't like that. Um, if the bishop moves up, then I could move the rook to the fifth rank. Okay, I'm confused. Side pawn picker is bad in cases where the rook cannot cleanly return to the file, but here a clean return is possible. Further, I could just take this pawn now, too. Um, that's dangerous. And unnecessary. Hmm. If I use my bishop here, it hits this gold. In other openings, I can take this pawn safely. Um, here, I don't think it's safe for me to just take that. Nanafun. This is so weird. My opponent has... Oh, my bishop would hit this square, not this square. Um, I 
Oh, they'd fork my bishop and rook. No. No, I don't profit from trying to do anything tricky here. Let's do a calm move. Let's see if they block this line, and they do. If I drop another pawn, if they attack, I attack. Hmm. Strange. Okay, I'm not going to profit from my rook being prone to attack up here. Even if I win a second pawn, I don't need a second pawn. I need my pieces to not hang. Okay, so I don't get this. If they're very intent on promoting, I get a silver. Um, otherwise, the silver goes back toward the center of the board. And I'm not sure what I'm doing. I can Go push on the edge. Hmm. Stop this bishop from invading this way. <sighs> I don't know where to use my pieces. No, that would be unwise. I don't know what to do. Okay, I offer this pawn. Right, that makes sense. Um... I really don't know. We're trying to activate one of my pieces, at least. But this is difficult. Something. Well, I could bring... I should have brought my bishop out this... Well, no, I don't need to. This is more important. The bishop can come next.
I got lucky. If they had blocked my rook, this could have been much more difficult. Um, So now the king needs to move away from the rook. And all of their pieces are hanging. They do have one bishop. They might... I don't think they can get a second bishop. Thanks for the game. That was sharp. Alright, let's play another game. Thank you. Good luck. I see they enjoy playing, playing swinging rook openings, so let's also play a swinging rook opening and see where we end up. Hmm. Nope. This one first. And this. Okay. Um, I'll tuck the king away. Right, so they're going to attack the head of my bishop again. I don't have a trap to save it. Um, as far as I know, this is the best I have there. Um, Okay, I build a castle, I debate playing pawn 5-5, five five, but that looks risky. Um, let's push this. Interesting. Um... Hmm, what to do? I think this is reasonable, playing Kimramino. This king drifts. Okay. Um, I see. Yeah, eventually this knight is threatening to invade. The knight is threatening to invade. Um, if I run back, they push this pawn. If I push this directly, they drop a bishop and I cry. Yeah, so I can't just ignore the threat. Um, I don't know. Not sure what to do.
7分Okay, so I've played that with tempo loss, but it seems okay. What has me concerned is if uh, the knight advances and if my gold retreats. If we exchange here, and then if I kick the rook, uh, they have this. They might have a, a bishop rook fork at some point. Um, or I'm not explaining that well, but I need to keep moving. Um, So potentially there might be a position where I push this exchange and promote my bishop this way. There are other ways I can activate a bishop too. Yeah, so they have to retreat. Um, what a mess. All right, hopefully this doesn't lose. Again, the timer makes me want to keep moving. Go Um. Okay, you can attack here. This does open the diagonal to our king. We have to be cognizant of that. Wait a second. If I drop on the knight's head, that's a bad idea. That's So we're going to drop here instead. And it's going to be painful, but we'll try to live through it. If they push, if I take, if they take... There's a fork back here, but then my rook comes back to defend the silver. This other silver is defended. Hmm. So, so far, I think I've survived without making too many blunders. Um, but going forward, each move is going to get more difficult. And my time will dwindle faster. So. There might be s some trick with a bishop fork somewhere, and I keep looking and I'm just not seeing it. We're going to block this diagonal to my king just in case I mess up, but also because I can't find another good use for a tempo here. So, yeah, my knight is a potential target here. 
Um, I don't understand this. And that concerns me. Ah, uh, okay, they intend to drop a piece in front of my rook here. Um... Oh, this this is dangerous because they can drop a bishop right in, next to my rook. No, they can't. I have this covered with my gold general. Oh man. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Sharp stuff. This is dangerous. Maybe I should have taken this first, but then they could block my bishop's diagonal with this rook. So now the rook can drop back to one of these first two ranks, and I don't know what's happening. Strange. Lots of tactics are possible. Um... They saw this, right? They saw this, then why is the game going this way? If they move the horse, I sack my rook. They sack their rook. Yeah, okay. I have a bishop in hand. They don't have a bishop in hand, so I'm not losing my rook. They do have a fork, so maybe I'm losing my bishop. Oh my goodness. That's scary. Um... Wow.
1分30秒1分 Yeah, this is dangerous. I don't know what to do. I hung a bishop. That's not good. Twenty seconds.
<sighs> I'm still checkmated. Wait, no, they have one gold and he had not two. Never mind, two golds I'm mated, one I think I survive. That's not clear. Communication error. Thanks for the game. All right, let's play another game. Good luck. Our opponent enjoys quick Ishida. Uh, who am I to say no? I don't remember the rest of this. I've done this before. I don't remember if this is good or bad. But I do this when I'm paranoid about the rook hitting my silver and uh, paranoid about this diagonal opening. Uh, yeah, they protect against my fork. I don't think I have any other fork here. I mean, if I exchange bishops, they protect this point. So, yeah, I have no tricks here. At least not that I know. Um... So, hmm. I build left Mino, I put pressure on this edge. Hmm. I did not expect that. What does this mean? Okay, their rook wants to become active. This is what this means. And they have targets they can hit. Um, hmm. Okay, if they can play that, can't I also play that? Maybe I should have taken here. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, that's a move. Um, that has me very stumped. So I can slow whatever attack they're planning with this drop. Although maybe behind the silver was better. Um... I've been looking, I don't see a fork either for me or for them. Um,
7分This is tense because I don't know if they're going to prevail or they're attacking. Um, I didn't think we'd go here. Go Fun. That's pretty wild. Oh, they can promote over here. Okay. Thump.
2分30秒Hold up, and I don't have my fork anymore. I was relying on having a fork after taking this, which uh, the fork just doesn't exist. Um, hmm. Two minutes. Hmm. A gold general can't do this fork. Hmm. I was considering Nifu. But Nifu is not legal. Let's just keep going. There's going to be something if I just hold out hope long enough. Yes, they can exchange silvers if they see that. Um, Ipun. Got one minute, so let's keep moving. Fuck. <laughs> oh, 27 seconds. I can't count. I should have spent a little more time moving. Nijibyo.
10秒時間切れ Thanks for the game. <laughs> There's two ways to win on this website, and that is a legitimate way to win. Uh, yeah. Well played. Yeah, too bad I don't know the common attack patterns, which, yeah, that requires me to invest heavily each time I move. Um, see, we've only got like 250 games on this site, and not all of them are in that opening, so it takes a long, long time to build up experience. Um, yeah, well played. Yeah, the opponent has been tilted. <laughs> Yeah, I was feeling it toward the end of the, or even toward the middle of that last game. Uh, but I fought on anyway, and, you know, we can't win them all, right? So, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, that was special. We don't see that every day. Uh, so, after the game, normally, you like, um, in more serious games, you would do a post-game analysis with the opponent's help. Here, divided by a language barrier and by the notion that we don't really know who our opponents are anyway, um, we're going to look at things the lazy way. There were some interesting moments that game. That game, crazy as it was, might have been better than my teaching ladder game, where I ended up in a symmetric side pawn picker and neither of us knew it. Um, so. Alright. Game one, something happened around move 50. Um... I was playing Gota here. Evidently my play was somewhat reasonable. Huh, interesting. So I was playing Gota, the top side of the board. Uh the silver oh right. Um I think I think I've seen silver two two here. Uh Telmarch I think plays that, but uh, the gold move is played also. Um, Silver 4-2, I guess, makes more sense here. I don't know. Anyway, the bishop exchange didn't happen. Continued not happening. Um, okay, this pawn advance was not terrible. Oh, so, yeah, bishop takes bishop. I've been expecting for several moves here. It still didn't happen. Wow. So, so far, most of my moves are kind of reasonable. Uh, if I had the balls to push my pawn here to 6-4, then that would have been slightly better than what I did with my pawn drop. Um, after this pawn drop, yeah, I exploit this hanging pawn. Okay, and then... <laughs> I pansy out and don't take on 6-6. Six, six. All right. How does this go? Not that we're ever getting this position again, but what are some ideas? Wait, we just take a second pawn, and they don't take our rook. Because if our rook were to be taken... I don't even know. Geeko recommends this line where I just grab the pawn and run. Um... There must be a lot of tactics justifying grabbing that pawn. And if we're looking for ideas, okay, let's put on our idea generation mode. All right, we're going to take this. And how bad is this? So now bishop takes pawn 
in front of the king is a threat. Um, apparently this is... Why would we defend the lance? Like, there's... This knight is hanging, but I guess it's not important. This knight advance, I guess, is somehow an idea. Okay, so we attack this rook. They protect the rook. We sacrifice for this knight. <laughs> okay, what is this? Is this checkers or shogi? Um, they still have a rook in hand. And my king is still in the center. Yeah. How is this advantageous for me? Okay, well, wait, when did I get that gold? When did that happen? Did that just happen here? Oh, happened here. Okay, so this bishop battery and fork against the rook support this idea. Fair enough. There's tactics. So we didn't see all that. We played the more normal, just get the king out of here idea. Um, king 4-1. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me show what's going on. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, so I was just explaining how in this game one, um, if I take the pawn, uh, Giko recommends against bishop takes rook, because between this bishop that will be here and another bishop dropping on 5-5, five five, there's tactics everywhere. And so, yeah, um, I could have taken this pawn. It would have been okay. Here, I retreat my rook because I don't really know what to do. Again, even with my king in the center of the board like this, apparently I can bring my silver up. So, um, I push pawn 1 4 again, not very aggressive. Um, gold 5 2 is not terrible, but not best. And then here, I do pawn takes pawn. Apparently, bishop 4 4 is playable and considerably better somehow. What's the key idea? So, I guess them taking this pawn doesn't matter, but still, like, what does this bishop here do? Anyway, the key continuation there involves this pin, and they retreat. But I don't believe it, so... Yeah, if they push, if I put this in consider mode, how does this work? So, thanks to the Nifu rule, I can play this. Listen, they can't, like, they've already got a pawn on this file. The rook is anchored to defending this, but is this still not bad for them? Or, bad for me. Okay, then I could take here... Rook takes, my rook becomes active, and then it gets shut down. Okay, this is sharp, and perhaps not reasonable for to expect me to see it. Um, but this is how I can pursue an advantage. I still don't get it, but this would be slightly better. 200 points better than what I played. Because uh, this opens an attack against their king with lots of threats. My attack lands first. Um, instead, I wimped out. So yeah, they brought this pressure. I did consider briefly bishop 4-4, but I didn't think I had much there. So, okay, I don't need to scare away this silver, not yet. Yes, I need to use my silver back here. 
basically this game i didn't use the silver because i was afraid like what if pieces get exchanged and they drop something in my camp and i lose my knight and lance but by playing lots of cowardly moves i get back myself into a corner that's really difficult to dig out of um yeah king three one doesn't do anything here um the bishop advance is unnecessary Uh, but, they, wait, oh, I could just take this pawn with probably similar ideas to the line we were just looking at. How does this work? Bishop takes, so we sacrifice the bishop for a silver and protect our king and drop a silver and take a lance. So we get a silver which is playing in the corner, and we get a lance for giving up a bishop. On the other hand, our king is safe now, so that matters. Um, so, yeah, I didn't go that way. Um, um, yeah, here... This position's even, and they blunder this terrible, terrible tactic. So had they simply blocked my rook, then yeah, again, because I've not used my silver, this is an uphill battle for me. Although I can start using it, I just have to have some willpower. Um... All right, so that was game one. Interesting. I'm doing... I've reset my zoom, but these buttons appear stacked here. I guess because there's tons of tags here. The page layout changes from what I'm familiar with. Wow. Okay. We had some events at the end of game two. Those are events. Though, so, yeah. Hmm. Meanwhile, I keep saying I want to play Rockwin. Let me install it if it's not already installed. I guess we don't need to cast my entire desktop for this. We'll be back in a second here while I check on 